Hello, hello. Perfidious Pete here, in a world where the breathtaking saga of XCOM The Long War continues. When last we left our band of celebrity underdogs, the beautiful and talented Rihanna had just finished leading her team deep into the heart of an alien transport. She's desperate to focus on completing her mission and proving once and for all that a place exists in the ranks for a female commander. But the unceasing rivalry between her two bows, Justin's Timberlake and Bieber, is a constant distraction. Meanwhile, the nefarious alien leaders, known only as the x Turi, plot to ensure the complete destruction of XCOM and everything the troopers hold dear. Can Rihanna prove herself to the Council without sacrificing one or both of her beloved Justins? Will Joss Whedon randomly murder a member of his own team for no good reason? Is the curse of Tara Reid real or myth? Find out in this thrillist second episode of XCOM The Long War, Part 2, Breaking Eclipse, in theaters and IMAX this December 18th, 2014. Alright, well that's enough movie trailer bullshit, but uh, still a fairly accurate synopsis. We have uh, rated a... Transport that landed here with uh, effectively possibly the shittiest team we've ever taken on any kind of critical mission. Rihanna is in charge, and we have eradicated a pretty fair number of aliens already. We've got two chrysalid pods that we downed, possibly one or maybe two pods of berserkers, depending on how they spawn. They actually happened out of sight, so we're not sure. As well as a cyberdisc pod, some seekers, and some assorted drones. So we've got quite a number of enemies downed. We do have at least one pod of mutons still on the map somewhere, and it's possible those mutons actually might be the command pod. They are over in this neck of the woods somewhere, so we're just going to advance fairly slowly here. Just uh, take a careful advance up the side of this ship and see if we can track them down. Ideally, we have Justin Bieber sort of uh, highlight them with a battle scanner. But we're basically just going to do some leapfrogging, overwatching, sort of uh, overwatch creeping. A little bit of creep in here, so much like its namesake, the Breaking Dawn Eclipse New Moon saga of the Twilight films, get ready for a whole lot of inaction, because that's what's going to be going on for the next few turns at the least. So, Strap in, folks. It's going to be a fun ride. On the plus side, Kristen Stewart is not on the mission, so at least you won't have to watch her chew up any scenery. I mean, I, I can give you that much at least. I don't have a lot to offer. But I, I can Time promise you that. We're basically just going to take some dash moves. We know this area is safe. We actually have uh, cleared most of this on our last episode. So we know we're pretty safe from an advanced this. standpoint. We've got plenty of room to move forward here. Uh, that may be a little aggressive with Tara Reed. Let's take her out by Justin, actually. Now, Terry Reed does not have a battle scanner, but again, we've cleared basically out to this second log. That's where this cyberdisc pod spawned. They were here and came this way. So my guess is our enemy pod is going to be probably probably in this little nook back here, possibly, or maybe over in this area. And my theory is that it's also the command pod, because this is typically where the command pod will they sort of generate in that area. Now, if you've ever watched me play any at all, you should simply assume okay. that any theories I might craft or come up with are going to be horribly, horribly oh, inaccurate. Um, I'm I'm not good at this game, so... Moving out. When I say I theorize that the aliens are there, they're, they're probably behind me. I this is commander. really the most likely position they might occupy. Roger, Dodger. And this, this may be a little too aggressive. We need to get Bieber up towards the front. A little bit further so we can uh, have him deploy. I think he has our last remaining battle scanner. Yeah, Bieber's our last scan man. So why don't you tuck in there, Biebs? Now, Rihanna can contribute from a goodly distance. She does have squad sight. So no real uh, no real Moving rush to get to Rihanna position. to the fore. But I really sort of like Rihanna in the position that George Clooney is currently occupying. Meanwhile, I'd like to get George Clooney. So I guess I already moved Clooney. All right, then. So we'll just dash up then for Kesha and Sir Sidney. Got it. Bring them Moving. along as well. And Rihanna, why don't you just crouch down in there? Just pretend Chris Brown is swinging wildly over your head and crouch down. I'm watching. You've gotten good with the chucking and jiving. You know how to dodge a blow. Time to put those skills to good use. 
I'm going to take one more turn of movement. Just uh, nothing fancy, some small advances here. I Moving think we can probably position. go a little bit further forward without popping this pod. The corner of the ship may be questionable. I'm going to guess they're probably right in... Oh, wait, there's the zone. Okay, never mind. We can't go anywhere near that far forward or we're going to spawn them. I'm watching. So we're basically at our limit. I'm actually lucky right now that I haven't already popped them. I, I probably should have already spawned them. But better lucky than good, I always say. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not being facetious. I mean, I always say better lucky than good because uh, yes, I'm not good. I'm not lucky either. So, I mean, it's better lucky than good. I would like to be lucky, but uh, this doesn't really work out for me. Uh, we didn't. Can you get there without spawning them? This is I'm so stupid. Oh, did we get lucky? All right. Nobody gets forward of where Joss Whedon is. Seriously, nobody. That's that's the demarcation point. That's the delimiter. Bieber, yes, this turn you're going to overwatch. Just because we want some other units in better positions. Now, theoretically, Kesha should be safe to move here, right? I mean, it's behind... Okay, that's it's behind our forward band, so that should be safe. On and we're going to put... Sir, well, Rihanna, why don't you just uh, on step on up? So Sydney, tuck in right that's behind perfect. Kesha. Scan it. All right, now our next move, probably our first shot out of the box. Okay, so we've definitely got, they've got to be right in here somewhere. Oh, or, or they're right there and just a fraction from popped. Man, did we get, we got so lucky there. All right, so we actually have some troopers in decent positions to do some, some work for us here. So let's have Tara Reed advance. She's going to take furthest Target advance. Acquired. And I'm curious how these guys are going to react. Alright, we have should have some pretty good squad sight shots then between... Alright, so between Joss Whedon and Rihanna, we should have some pretty reasonable shots. There's a can't miss shot for the Whedonizer, so we're going to absolutely take that. There's one dead floater. Whedon, of course, with the double tap, is going to take the somewhat long shot at the other floater. Now, we didn't shoot at the close guy because we theoretically shot should be able to have to um, a reasonably large number of troopers that can still get shots. None of them are on Overwatch, are they? This is an excellent opportunity for Kesha, then. So Kesha only has two grenades left in the pack. She's pretty much shot her entire wad. But if she can get a kill here or at least eliminate that Muton's cover, she'll be doing a fine work for us. That Muton is a navigator, so theoretically, our best bet would be to kill him as quickly as possible. Rihanna only has the one shot, so she's going to take it. I'm about to start keeping score. And that's got a thumping kill right there. Doom, 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 Rihanna, all about that bass. Doom, doom, doom. She's going to do a cover of a Megan Trainer song that's not very good. Doom, doom, doom. George Solaris Clooney is going to have to take this shot. Clooney, fuck you Target forever. God, I hate you, Clooney. I hate you so much right now. I hate you so much right now. Position confirmed. We really needed that. I mean, we really needed that. All right, let's see if Timberlake... Well, he's going to get one kill for sure. Probably not the Muton, however. Did get the floater. We have one floater on Overwatch, which means we... We can't get too aggressive. Tara Reed, can you do anything? Get a very low... Okay, this is fine. Terry Reed actually is going to mind fray. For once, Terry Reed's pathetic psychic ability, she's going to use her curse on the enemy, use it to our benefit. This time, Terry Reed wins. Terry Reed wins. Yeah. That's uh, true words have never been spoken. Got it. Move it. And you know what? I think we're just going to have... You know what? I think Actually, I was going to say we're going to have Bieber go on Overwatch, but with that guy... Uh, that Muton Mind Frayed, he's not going to be able to throw grenades for shit. So we're actually going to have Bieber throw a smoke grenade. We're just going to make sure nobody gets hit. It's just the better play. Feel free to disagree with me because I'm probably wrong, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now watch this Muton come up and throw a grenade at like five of our guys. Oh, shooting at Tara Reed. And if you're going to shoot at Tara Reed, honestly, yeah, I, I can't think of a more noble endeavor for man or alien. Shooting at Tara Reed is, uh, well, it's what what we were put on this planet to do. 
We could, we, uh, you know what, I, I can't use Kesha's other grenade. Just in good conscience, I can't do it. So Joss Whedon, why don't you take this shot? You should feel ashamed of yourself for not getting the kill there, but at least you hit, so unlike George Clooney, you've already proved your usefulness. <clears throat> George! Seriously, fuck yourself, Clooney, forever. I'm rolling. And you know what? It not is not necessarily out of the question that we might be able to get a capture on this mute. I don't want to jinx it, but we, we've we got an outside chance here. Can we flashbang him? Tara Reed can flashbang him. Alright, so let's see what else we can do about these floaters. Uh, Clooney, I hate you so much right now. Yeah, it still doesn't make up for the last one. And now you can't suppress because you don't have enough ammo because I am a dumb, dumb man. That's, uh... That's my fault. I'm on I was going to have you suppress that alien so we could go for... What the... That all you got? Oh. So lucky. This is why I shouldn't play multiple missions in a row, because when I do this, I get really impatient. And I do stupid stuff, like uh, take Kesha and run her into Overwatch. I did get lucky there. Well, I got missed. lucky in that it missed. Not so much lucky in the fact that... Uh, the hit came through. At least Rihanna delivered. So we have nobody that's going to be able to... Tara Reed could still flashbang him, right? Yeah. George Clooney could also just try and straight up kill him. I'd, I'd really prefer George Clooney not do that. Alright, so we're, we're going to gamble. At this point, we're going to gamble in, in hopes of a capture. So Tara Reed, flashbang. Now, the first thing that Muton should do is seek cover, so we should be okay in that regard. And Tara Reed should be close enough that she can deliver. Looney, how can you not see that other guy? So, Sir Sidney's gonna have to run and gun then, and we're gonna have to hope that Sir Sidney can get the kill on that last remaining floater. Order's confirmed. Otherwise, our capture attempt is, well, gonna pipe straight down the toity. How can you not see that guy? How do you not have line of sight from there, Sydney? Oh, that is such horse shit. Absolute fucking horse shit. Moving to position. So like I was saying, it's gonna be all up to Justin Timberlake to take down that last floater because, uh... Sir Sydney, you know what? Can we collateral damage that guy for guaranteed damage? Is that, is that a thing we can do? No, it is. Is it? Yes? It only does one damage, so we can't do it because it won't do enough damage. Justin Timberlake's just gonna have to take the chance here. Thanks, Timberlake. Appreciate it, buddy. Nice work. Seriously, everyone. Well, well done, everybody. Fine job. I'm I'm not gonna risk Justin Bieber. I was gonna consider having him stand in the open and take the shot, but I don't. You know, well, we can take a look at the hit percentage, I suppose, and then if it doesn't look good, we can just double move him. Justin Timberlake can't even see him. So it's just going to be a double move for Tim... Or whatever. They're both named Justin, and I'm never going to get it right. If we have George Clooney going Overwatch here, he's going to kill our potential capture. Oh, yeah. So Clooney's going to reload. We're taking a big risk here for a capture. A big risk. Although based on the Muton's actions, not that big a risk. Also based on that floater's action, not that big a risk. So, Kesha, please kill that guy. Thank God. Right, so that does leave Sir Sidney and Tara Reed both available to try and drop a capture on this punk shit. And we have plenty of people left on backup duty. If this goes awry, we're going to have plenty of backup to try again. So here comes Tara Reed. She's going to engage her arc thrower. Oh, that guy still he's, is too much health. Well, that's, uh, that's a problem. How much damage is that going to do? Much. So, uh, here comes gunslinger Justin Bieber. A wild pistolier himself. Pew pew! Pew pew! Yeah, damn, Justin, you almost killed the guy. I mean, nice job. I'm glad you got a critical and all, but... Seemed a little dangerous. Alright, fantastic. So we did get the stun. Excellent. And apparently that was not the command pod, although after I saw it, I was actually fairly certain that it was not the command pod, which means our command pod is probably... that door open? I think that door is open. Our command pod is actually probably in this room, then. 
So we're going to set up for a door Let's kick on that this. room since the command pod is probably in there. So let's bring everybody forward, and Joss Whedon, we're going to want you anchoring one side of that door. Thanks for having to reload, Rihanna. I mean, you know what? Never mind. Both of those shots hit something, so I can't really complain too much. Timberlake, reload. Um, Sir Sidney, why don't you just head over here and maybe go on Overwatch? Very worried about what's going to be in this room. We are definitely not kicking that door this turn, however. I'm actually also worried this is going to pop a pot. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to need somebody who can still move after getting over there. And that someone is not Joss Whedon. We'll take an, an additional extra turn if we have to. Got it so, Sir Sidney, one side of team door busting. The other side going to be Joss Whedon. Assuming we can... What's wrong with the... Camera really doesn't want anyone to stand in that spot. It's also going to give Whedon a chance to reload. You know, Kesha, I actually think you might be... Uh, we probably need you up next to that door. You're in Rihanna's spot. So, Rihanna... Why don't you head up here? I know, actually, now Kesha's in your spot. Why don't you just stand there? I'm done, Rihanna. This is going to take an extra turn because I'm stupid, but you're just going to have to... Little patience with the commander. You're a rookie, too. I didn't expect you to get everything right on the first try. Although, arguably, this is more like my 120th try as opposed to my first try. But, you know, the, I don't feel the numbers are too terribly relevant, necessarily, Rihanna. It's not all about the numbers. Um, we do not want you to path that way, Pink. We want you to come around the long way. So even if it's going to take you an extra turn to get there... Because the, the reason is, if that command pod is not in this room, as I suspect they are, they're probably... Oh, actually, wait, is that them? I can't tell if that's... That might be them, but it could also be a log. I'm going to trust my instinct and assume they are where I thought they were. I think I still think they're in the room. And it's probably outsiders. My guess is probably a pod of, like, uh, five outsiders and maybe a sectoid commander. That's just my theory on what's going to be down there. Or at least that's what it was the last time we played this map. And we are still not fully positioned, so I'm still not opening this fucking door. Kesha, you got mad grenades. You're on that that door. Be ready to whip one through there if we need it. Rihanna, you're in Kesha's spot. You're on Overwatch. JT, right there, buddy. You're on Overwatch. Overwatch. You know, we could put Justin Timberlake on the roof. That might be actually pretty badass with his jet boots. Having a jet boot up there. Uh, Bieber, buddy. Getting it done. Get the hell out of Dodge, sir. You're the heartbreaker lifesaver. If anybody gets cracked open with a grenade or anything, we're going to need you there to save him. Headed there now. Man, I can't believe I just said that sentence. We're relying on Justin Timberlake to right. save someone's I life. Or, I, I did it again. Justin Bieber to save someone's life. I should just really stop taking both Justins on the same mission at the same time. Because I'm going to do that basically 100% of instances. What the hell was that? Well, whatever the hell it was, it's clearly not in the room we thought it was in. Because the audio cue came... So I guess maybe that's not a log. Let's just double check and make sure. Here they come. Okay, well, we've got shit on the upper deck. Alright, well... That's not necessarily the worst pod we've ever seen, but it's certainly not among the best. Fortunately, Joss Whedon is in a good spot to do some... Joss Whedon, you've really been a disappointment on this mission, sir. I mean, there's no two ways about it. You have done a poor job. Uh, could Kesha theoretically wing one over? Now, let's see what kind of line of sight issues we have. Can she see anything? Sydney Porty has just an absolutely garbage water shot. Esha, I don't, uh, I don't trust the line of sight on this corner. I really don't. And I don't want those guys bum rushing around the corner and killing one of our troopers. Um, can we do an up and over? Yes. No. Well, no, we cannot. All right, so we're gonna need to we're gonna need to find better cover then. Or could we put up just such a blazing hail of Overwatch that these guys don't have a chance? Or alternatively, we could send Kesha in to throw her last grenade from this position of full cover and try to kill some of those sectoids. 
As dangerous as it sounds, I actually think that's probably our best play. That guy is on Overwatch, though. Um, we're going to need to do something about that. And you know what? That, that seems like a job for Tara Reed. That's affirmative. We're going to have Tara Reed come out here. All right, so there's Lightning Reflexes taking both Overwatches. There's actually two Mechtoids there, both on Overwatch. Taking fire over here. And so Tara Reed, still okay. I'm all right. It seems like a lot of Overwatch, actually. More than they should have been entitled to, to be perfectly honest. All right, so that's got the Overwatch taken care of. Not as I necessarily like that position. Also, it's by a big explodey thing, which again... Uh, well, you know what they say. I'm on it, Commander. Live fast, take chances, die young. They, they say all of those things, and... Uh, oh, we're going to shoot for it. So here we go. This grenade is going to wipe out Tara Reed's cover, but there's no way Tara Reed's just going to stand there. And honestly, getting 21 damage there was pretty fantastic fucking output, so... I'm, uh, I'm okay with that. Sir Sidney actually might have a... Oh, can he... He can't quite make it. I was going to say, Sir Sidney might be able to do some good work for us with a running gun, but he can't quite get there. So Tara Reed is definitely going to have to fall back. There's, there's no two ways about that. None of these guys have grenades, though. You know what? If George Clooney could get a shot, we could theoretically kill one. I think the the sectoid that's dead is always better than. It's gonna have to critical to do it. What about that guy? That that's a guaranteed kill. How many sectoids are down there? Oh, there's a sectoid commander. Ah oh, shit. Okay. We need to kill these mectoids then. Joss Whedon is Joss Whedon is done. He's done all that he can do. So let's take Justin Timberlake over here. And let's hope he can rail cannon one of these guys. And okay, well, that'll be a kill, and it can't miss. All right, so that's one dead mech toy. That's fine. Totally acceptable. Everyone is happy. Target destroyed. All right, so that leaves us with Tara Reed, who just, she literally can't stay where she is. She, she cannot do it. A potential shot from Bieber on the Sectoid. If we take the shot from Bieber, is there any way we could get the kill on the last remaining Mectoid? The answer is maybe. Alright, we're going big here. We're, we're going balls out. And the reason I'm doing this, no one has been injured yet on the mission. And everybody has pretty good armor. So they should theoretically be able to take some hits here, if they have to. Come on, Sir Sidney. Nine damage. We may have needed more. If Rihanna could have gotten in to get a shot, this would have been a whole different ball game. Clooney? Clooney has to critical in order to get this done. We're still taking a shot. Either way, we're taking a shot. That was really not the damage that we needed. Is there any way we could salvage this? Possibly. With the oddest angled Overwatch shot of all time. I'm still going to take a risk here. Justin Bieber is going to come in and try and kill that last sectoid. Oh, his hit percentage is not good. Alternatively, we could mind fray it. Nah, let's just chance it. Oh, fuck. He had a terrible chance because he's got a pistol out. Shit. Tara Reed could kill it. How much return fire does Tara Reed take if she kills it? Too, too much. Can Tara Reed even get to safety? That's the actual question. Is there any place she could go? Yeah. All right. So Tara Reed's got to fall back, and suddenly we're in a very bad position here. Sir Sidney is almost certain he, he's... There's a big dick headed straight for Sir Sidney's butt, and there's nothing we can do about it. I'm amazed that that guy fell back. Sir Sidney theoretically might live. He might be critically wounded, but he could survive. This is not going to generate a kill because of that shield. If it hadn't have been for the shield, Sir Sidney would have wrecked that son of a bitch, though. So he's going to take a flank shot. Oh, Rihanna! There's no way it does enough damage. 
Also, there's no way it hit. No way oh, come on, Rihanna. Who the fuck are you trying to kid? It was a miracle you even got a shot, to be honest. Oh, this is not good. Are they going for Bieber? Who was killed? George Clooney is dead. Ah, uh, George, George, George. Well, we went risky and Clooney paid the price. Man, I'm... I can't, you had phalanx armor too, did you not, Clooney? I'm almost positive that you did. You know who's to blame for this? Joss Whedon. Joss Whedon is to blame. If he had gotten the kill... Yeah, I, I blame Joss Whedon. If Joss Whedon had not missed his shot, we would have... Uh, we could have survived that. Heading there now. Uh, alas, George Clooney is no more. And our record on these large UFO missions continues to be fucking terrible. We have yet to do one where we haven't at least lost one trooper. Three damage is nothing to Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake does not care about three damage. He would care very much about setting all of you cocksuckers on fire, though. Why don't you, uh, enjoy that? Yeah. There you go. Enjoy that, you sons of bitches. Every single one of you. X-ray on the move. They're flanking us. And I really can't tell who the hell is mind-linking the main... The, the mechtoid. They've got, like, some kind of weird array of shit position. going on, and I can't tell who the hell's actually doing it. So Cindy's gonna kill this mechtoid, though. He's gonna have a double shot here. This is gonna do some serious damage. Even through the shield, we should be able to get him down. It's gonna be just kind of a combined weight of fire effort. Got no ammo. Justin Bieber having a pistol on that last shot certainly didn't fucking help any either, though. So, let's face it, we've made two critical mistakes at basically a, a, a key moment. We had, uh, we doubled up on the fuck-ups on a key moment. And, uh, it, well, it cost us. Or rather, it cost George Clooney. Sorry, Clooney. Although I'm not, you actually weren't very good on this mission and aren't very good in general, so now. it's not necessarily the worst thing ever. Yeah, she's gonna take a shot at whatever she can hit. And she can't miss that. Got him. Nice critical shot from her, so we got something going, at least. Uh, Rihanna, I don't actually think Rihanna's gonna even be able to hit from there. Let's just put Rihanna on the Time roof. Maybe she can shoot down on him, who knows. I'm sort of on tilt here after the loss of George Clooney. Not that I was overly fond of the big galoot, but still. It uh, sucks that we didn't even get a chance to save him or anything. I mean, he was just straight up dead. Wouldn't have minded a chance to perhaps pull some kind of critical wound rescue maneuver. Would have been nice. I don't really want to leave Tara Reed just standing out in the open. Losing one trooper is bad enough. We don't Already want to there. double up on our mistakes and lose another one. So let's just prepare for next turn. Almost all of those guys are panicked, so... I think there's one sectoid down there that is not panicked. Still, George Clooney. Man. Well, Clooney, I tell you what, it was that gray mop of hair you keep maintained on your head, man. If you'd have just dyed it a little bit to a... You know, more reasonable color. Maybe you'd have been a less tempting target. Maybe the aliens wouldn't have just shot you in the dome. Alternatively, if he'd have done a little more damage with that shot, or if Joss Whedon had maybe hit his target. I mean, let's face it, it's it's sort of Joss Whedon's fault. Yeah, I'm still blaming you, Whedon. You heard me. How can you not have a shot at any of those guys, Joss? You've been a big disappointment this mission, Joss Whedon. A big disappointment. All right, so let's see if JT here can get uh, that remaining. He is not going to be able to do it. Moving. I was hoping he might be able to get that remaining sectoid on fire, but he's he's not going to be able to. I didn't think he could see it, actually. We can't capture the sectoid commander because we already have a captured muton, so let's just shoot this guy in the face. I can't believe he's still alive. Seriously, he took one point blank to the fucking temple and lived. That's... That's some stalwart alien right there. This is going to be a flush shot just to guarantee the kill. Exposing and that appears to have nulled the link with the remaining troopers. So we have a combined four health left. Still can't believe you don't have a shot there. That's 
Uh, unacceptable, Joss Whedon. Simply unacceptable, sir. You know what? Uh, I don't think this will draw Overwatch given the line of sight issues, so we're gonna have Kesha just drop down and crack this son of a bitch. Booyah! That's a kill. Dead and gone. And it was always sort of a risk bringing George Clooney on this mission. He was our lowest ranking trooper, and it's really nice that I ran Sidney Poitier out there just standing out in the wide open with his dong in his hand, considering he doesn't even have any ammo to defend himself. So it's going to be a Justin Bieber overwatch shot on defense. This probably gets someone else wounded stupidly. No, because the alien's going to run away. Duck out of that thing that puts him out of line of sight, and he's going to go on Overwatch. We learned this trick last time, so we're not going to take another cheap-ass Matt Lauer wound here. That will not be happening again. No, sir. No, sir. Not again. We'll send Tara Reed around that corner if we have to. I'm on it. We're just going to set up a massive armada of Overwatch here. And if that little fucking slimy git comes out, he's going to get a slimy round right in his slimy little head. Looking for some George Clooney payback is what we're doing. Now this is where we got burned last time because we took Matt Lauer straight over that lip. But like I said, we're not doing that again. We're not going to make that mistake twice. He's going to have an array of Overwatch and if that little bastard comes out, he's going to get his guts pumped full of lead. If not, we're going to wait and send Tara Reed in to root him out. Alright, Tara Reed, you're on plumbing duty. 10-4. Gotta call Roto Rooter, that's her name, and away it goes talent down the drain. Terra Reader. Come get some. Aye aye, Commander. Just stand there, Whedon. I'm so disappointed in you, Joss. It's Heading not out. even funny, sir. I feel commander. You had only hit that shot, George Clooney would still be alive, okay. Joss Whedon. And it was a good percentage shot, too. I mean, it's not like you missed it 75% or something. We got. Unlucky on a 1 in 4. I mean, that's not the way it happened, Josh. That was a 90% shot and you missed. 90. Shh. You hear that? Yeah, it's that sectoid that's hiding under this out of line of sight lip. And this time it's going to be Tara Reed like that takes the trigger and doesn't get shot. Actually, he's not even on Overwatch, so Tara Reed's just going to shoot him in the face. Nailed him. Mission accomplished. Well, there we go. You have it. End of mission. And... You know what? I'm tired of this thing saying good when there's one XCOM operative loss. A mission where you lose a trooper is not a good mission ever. So Operation Sacred Star its going to get a sacred star on the wall of shame for George Solaris Clooney. And once again, we've lost another infantry guy. Casualty rates among infantrymen have been rising lately in XCOM headquarters. Now borderline parity, achieving borderline parity with scouts and assault troopers. That's a joke, actually. Our assault troopers, I think, have suffered more casualties than anything else. I think we've only lost two infantry guys. Neither of which particularly highly ranked, now that I think about it. But still, George Solaris Clooney, KIA. Well, nobly fought, Clooney. Your ten kills in nine missions is truly impressive output. Seriously, Tara Reed puts you to shame. You know what? I'm glad you're dead, Clooney. With performance like that, you won't be missed. Nobody got a promotion on that mission. Just like to point that out. Not a single promotion. Not one. Nobody. Not a single promotion. And we had some pretty low rank guys. I think the only guy who might have been in line for a promotion was George Clooney. And, well, bullet to the face solved that, I guess. Two surgeries, eight stasis tanks. That's uh, not insignificant. And a surprisingly low amount of meld and illyrium. We did get a muton captive, however. That's going to really fire Dr. Valen's engine. She's going to be real pleased. Oh, you know what? We must have actually already had a Muton Captive because we picked up an alien grenade. And I know we've had one of those before, but still, the Plasma Rifle is a nice save as well. well let's head to the gray market then. We're going to sell off our damaged UFO parts. Just so we don't forget prior to our next mission. And I suppose we'll take another rookie out and try and... Well, once we scrape George Clooney up off the pavement, speaking of which, I hope somebody brought a spatula on that mission. And we just had the one, huh? Okay, then. So, a highly profitable mission as well, in that it tuned us to the tune of a whopping 15 credits. Always delightful to make that kind of fat cash on a mission where you lose a trooper. We are going to head down to our barracks just very quickly. I want to look and see what we have left for infantry. Of course, Lindsay Lohan in the hospital for the next 
three weeks, I think. Sean, no Angel Pen is back in a day. Nice to see Real Steel Jackman still on duty. And Jean-Claude Van Damme has come up in the ranks. But we actually only have a grand total of four infantry guys left in our entire platoon. Which is simply not enough. So, next opportunity we get where the council offers us a tactical guy, or are we probably going to have to take it regardless of what the offer is, even if it's something sort of untoward. Now, on the plus side, we do have a cadre of available rookies who sort of would be promising in capacity as infantry guys. Two guys with pretty good aim. And you know what? Just to sort of double up on that, I actually think we're going to hire five more rookies. And with a new personnel request put in, and hopefully none of the new personnel will scan the wanted pages that says wanted man to replace trooper shot in face by alien plasma. Let's just hope they skip over that part of the Craigslist posting and come on in anyway. But with that finished, I think we'll go ahead and wrap things up. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comments section. Your support does really mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to see more daily XCOM, consider subscribing as well. We'll see you again soon.